Hello Divine Feminine, welcome to your weekly reading. So I'm going to pull on some general energy for you Divine Feminine. Whatever comes out, that is what Spirit wants you to know. This is a timeless reading, so whenever you click on the video, that's when it can apply the most. Also, these messages are general, so not everything is going to resonate. Just take what does and leave the rest. So let's jump into it and get you some overall messages. First, I'm going to start by um, getting you a spirit animal message. Give me a spirit animal for the Divine Feminine, please. Oh, okay. I have Loon, Intuitive. It says, listen to the song in your soul. Trust your intuition as you have a way of knowing. Emerge from the busy life and seek more solitude. Recognize that you are unique and that you are loved. So yeah, for some of you, you definitely need to pay more attention to your intuition, especially concerning like your children for some of you. Um, there's something that you have an inkling about and Spirit is saying you are correct. Also, do not be so busy with the day-to-day -day routines of life. Make sure that you're getting time to yourself, you know, to relax, to spend time with God, with spirit, to meditate. You know, make sure that you're doing things to keep yourself energized. So let's get another energy. Spirit, give me another energy for... For some of you, you have like... um inner knowing that one of your children are pregnant your child is pregnant that's what I'm hearing but you already know intuitively it just haven't been confirmed but spirit is like I will confirm for you but yeah you already know yeah somebody's pregnant here because I just keep looking at this bird in this water there's a baby on the way your child, your teenage daughter for someone. She's been um, hiding this. And she's very scared and fearful. Spirit says love. You know, um, you know, we as parents, of course, we get upset um, whenever we feel our children or child is making like a huge mistake. But Spirit is saying like approach the situation from love because like your child is already scared. Um really don't have any answers don't know how she's gonna make things work so just be that support system for her during this time I, I heard she messed up she already feels like she messed up so she's already beating herself up so yeah it's like you really don't need to go overboard because she's already being hard on herself so you just need to love on her that's it love on her just as you have made mistakes in your life and God has loved on you and has nourished you back you know to a place of stability a place of peace give me an energy for the divine feminine let me put yourself in her shoes that's what God wants you to do, not to overreact, because she's already in a broken space. Yeah. She needs to know that you love her, despite whatever has happened. I'm hearing um, love don't change. I believe Jeremiah is saying that. I might be wrong. But yeah, like just letting her know, like regardless of whatever she do, like your love is not going to change. And I'm even hearing Whitney Houston, I will always love you. So yeah, love is definitely important. She needs to know that you love her. She could have been um, feeling a lack of love or lack of attention. She hasn't been speaking about this. I heard inner and her inside. So there's a lot of things she's been going through and a lot of emotions she's been dealing with that she hasn't been telling you about. So this would definitely, Spirit says talk. So this would definitely be a good time for you to like sit down and have like a really deep conversation, you know, besides discussing the issue at hand, like just go a little bit deeper. 
I have a time to give rather than take new moon and Virgo. Yeah. So you need to just give up your give up yourself of your energy, especially if the situation resonates with you. Listen to the bird, divine feminine. Let's get some more energy. Spirit, give me some more energy for the divine feminine, please. Some more energy. What is the message for the divine feminine? Energy for the divine feminine, please. What do I have? Oh, strategy. So for some of you, you're, you may be planning something or you need to plan, strategize, write it down, make it plain. The number 21, the number three could be significant. Give me another energy, another message, please. Okay. Oh, fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael and indecision so somebody is struggling making a choice here so that's why strategy is here somebody really needs to take their time think things through weigh out their options here before moving forward let's get some more messages spirit tell me more about strategy why is strategy here for the divine feminine Animals are all in your reading today. We first had the dog. Now we have the bird. Give me some energy for strategy. Funnel. Period of frustrations, lessons to be learned. Yeah, so for some of you, you could be trying to figure out how to get out of a difficult situation. You could be frustrated because it's like you feel stuck. It's like you don't know what to do. You've fallen on some hard times, going through a difficult season here. Give me some energy on fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael. Okay, compliments from an admirer. Okay, so somebody's ready to love. Somebody wants to extend an offer here. Somebody has emotions for you, Divine Feminine, or you have emotions for someone. Give me an energy on this indecision. I, psychic abilities, trust your intuition. Yes, yeah. so there's a choice you need to make, but Spirit is saying you already know the answer. Also, scissors fell out, disappointment in some affair. So, yeah, for some of you, I feel like this indecision comes from you feeling like you're going to make the wrong decision. But Spirit is saying you already know the answer you seek. You need to trust your intuition, divine guidance here. Do not overthink. Or this is someone else who doesn't need to overthink. They need to trust themselves. Give me a message for strategy. Why is strategy here? The Page of Cups. Give me another energy for strategy, please. Somebody could be trying to come in and love bomb you here with this Page of Cups. Or somebody could want to offer you an apology, strategize. Somebody's trying to strategize how they can get back into your good graces. Yeah, a period of frustration. So... For some of you, there's somebody you don't cut off, you don't pull it away from. But it's like lessons need to be learned. This person, <laughs> they, they need to learn. Like, you're not the one to be played with. Like, no, you're going to respect me. I know what I deserve. I'm not willing to settle. Give me some energy on strategy, please. Why a strategy here? The Six of Wands. 
So for some of you, you could be trying to figure out how you're going to reach a certain goal. When it comes to your career, you could be some type of public figure here. Do something um, in social media. Why is the Page of Cups here? <laughs> the High Priestess. Yeah, for some of you, this does have to do with a child. Yeah, you're going to be finding out that your, your daughter's pregnant here. Like, this is just reminding me of going to the doctor and, yeah. Or your daughter could have recently found this out. Give me another energy on the Page of Cups. Why is the Page of Cups here for the Divine Feminine? Yeah, the Ten of Cups. Oh, so somebody could have um, got pregnant just to entrap someone so that they can have a family with this person. Tell me more about the Six of Wands. Somebody was strategizing how they could keep someone. Tell me about the Six of Wands. Queen of Pentacles. So I feel like whatever it is that you do as far as your career, you're going to be very successful, very affluent here. I feel like you're definitely going to be getting a lot of attention. People see you as someone who's very like pure, who's very authentic here, divine feminine. Give me another energy on the Six of Wands. The Ten of Wands. So somebody's burden here. For some of you, your success causes somebody else to be burdened. You could be seeing the number 1010 as well. We have the Ten of Cups and Ten of Wands. That's been coming out in a lot of readings. Let's clarify further. Tell me why the Ten of Cups is here. The Two of Cups. Yeah, somebody wanted to be in a relationship with you or your person. Somebody could also already be married. Or someone just wanted to be someone's wife. Tell me more about the Ten of Wands. But it seems like this person is not getting what they want. <laughs> the title card. Yeah, somebody's receiving information, news that they don't want to hear. This could be regarding you or your person. Tell me more about the Ten of Wands. The Three of Pentacles. You know what, Divine Feminine? There's somebody who is jealous of your success. Of what it is that you're building, you're working on. Jealous of your career. Somebody's been trying to like block you here. They've been trying to strategize on how they can delay you. But it's not working. Give me an energy on the Queen of Pentacles. Why is the Queen of Pentacles clarifying the Six of Wands? The Ace of Cups. You are about to get a proposal for someone. Yeah, somebody wants to make you their wife. Somebody's trying to strategize on how they're going to go about this proposal. But somebody's trying to stop this from happening. Give me something on this Three of Pentacles. Why is this Three of Pentacles here? five of cups listen somebody is feeling some type of way somebody's in their emotions here somebody feels a sense of loss they're sad about this offer that you're about to get yeah somebody already knows i'm hearing that it's over and that somebody's coming towards you to give you an offer. Yeah, somebody wants to make you their wife here. Somebody wants to marry you. Give me something on this Two of Cups. Why is this Two of Cups here? Tell 
Somebody tried to hold this person back. What is this? The Eight of Swords and the Sun in the Reverse. So whatever this person tried to do to trap um, you or your person with a child, it didn't work. Yeah, I'm hearing like you're free to go. Somebody could also be getting out of jail as well. But it didn't work. Somebody's defeated here. They feel at a loss. They're frustrated. But this is serving as a lesson for this person when it comes to control. And making better use of your time. What you put your energy into. Make sure it's something that's going to be beneficial for you. It's going to serve your highest purpose. And not trying to control a situation or delay someone. You know, whether this is about somebody trying to delay your career or relationship. Somebody feels stuck now. Give me some energy on the fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael. The seven of wands. Somebody could have been trying to block out how they feel about you. Give me another energy on the heart chakra. Heart chakra. <laughs> Archangel Raphael. The Five of Swords. Yeah, listen. Somebody is very combative. Like somebody has that win at all costs. Yeah, somebody's been trying to sabotage something here. Give me another energy on the Seven of Wands. Why is the Seven of Wands here for the Divine Feminine? The Five of Pentacles. Somebody's been trying to block your money, your finances. Somebody can also be like cold hearted. And I feel like this person with this compliments, they may have like tried to give you compliments in the past. But whatever they said, they weren't being authentic. Like... That's not how they really feel about you. This person has like a lot of hidden motives here. Look, I have the Ten of Swords twice. Ten of Swords and then Ten of Swords. Everything is fine. Listen, something is a double betrayal here. And Ten Ten is very important. You definitely could have been seeing Ten Ten. Something is a double betrayal when it comes to you, Divine Feminine. And for some of you, this is about your career. For others of you, a relationship. And then for someone, this is about both. Like somebody just don't want you to be happy in any area of your life. Give me another energy on this Five of Swords. Why is this Five of Swords here? 20 Swords. This person took time to put these Swords in your back here. Give me something on the Five of Swords. The truth. You're about to learn the truth of how this person has tried to combat you, sabotage you, try to come up against you. Somebody's been doing a lot of things behind the scenes here. Somebody could have also been trying to like look you up online. Somebody also like um, looks a lot at your profile. Looks at your pictures a lot. Somebody's very envious here. Give me um, a, another energy on this Five of Swords. The Lovers. Yeah. I'm getting like the truth about somebody not wanting you to be together. That's what I'm hearing. The truth about this person not wanting you to be together. You or your person. Tell me more about the Ace of Swords. Why is the Ace of Swords here? Yeah, because somebody could have kind of just gaslighted you, complimented you, like, oh, yeah, girl, or yeah, boy, um, look at this, Seven of Cups. Yeah, something was just a lie. It was just all falsehood. But it's like, oh, yeah, you know, I, I support you. I'm happy you're in a relationship, or I'm happy you got that new job. I'm happy um, you got that promotion, but it was, <laughs> this person wasn't being real. They didn't like it at all. A lot of envy. The devil clarifying the lovers, Capricorn energy, Gemini and Capricorn. So something was just toxic 
or someone is just real toxic. Give me another energy on the lovers, please. Somebody could have, ah, someone told this person that you were toxic. Somebody made you out to be toxic. So that's why for some of you, this person could have pulled back because of how this person made you seem. Give me another energy on the lovers. Why is the lovers here? But it says compliments from an admirer. So this person is really your fan. They, they, they're... <laughs> They wish they were you, but, you know, it's kind of like at the same time, they're mad because you're you and not them. I have the Nine of Pentacles. Somebody could have lied about you being single. Give me an energy on the devil. Now, give me something on the Seven of Cups. Why is the Seven of Cups here? Look, the seven of swords, seven, seven. You have a lot of repeating um, numbers here, Divine Feminine. Yeah, somebody did something underhanded low down here. Tell me about the devil. The Ten of Pentacles. So for some of you, this could have been family who did this or a group of friends, people that you know, but I'm hearing colleagues for some of you, but yeah, a group of people work together. To tell lies. Tell me more about indecision. Why is indecision here? The Queen of Wands. Give me another energy on indecision. The Two of Swords. Yeah, somebody can make up their mind about you. Somebody needed to trust their intuition. Because you're in your Queen of Wands energy. Very creative, a go-getter. You know how to manifest. Tell me more about this Queen of Wands. But somebody needed to go within disappointment in some affair. So somebody could have cut you out of the picture based on a misconception. Three of Wands. Yeah, somebody could have kind of moved on from a situation. Give me one more on the Queen of Wands. For the Divine Feminine. Yep. All because of what was said. about you. Give me an energy on the Two of Swords. Why is the Two of Swords here? The hang one. Yeah, somebody didn't take any action. They just stayed in hangman. Pisces energy. Yeah, somebody didn't do anything. They didn't want to come towards you for some. Let's clarify the sun. Tell me why the sun is here. Tell me why the sun is here for the Divine Feminine. The King of Cups. Yeah, what a sign masculine. Somebody could have tried to pin a baby, a child on, on this water sign here. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Give me another energy for the sun, please. Yeah, because somebody wanted a relationship. Six of Wands, the lovers, Gemini. Somebody wanted to be seen with this person because of like their popularity, their status, the attention they get. Somebody wanted a commitment. Give me something on the lovers. Why is the lovers here? Yeah, look at this. 
the page of wands. Give me another energy on the lovers. Temperance. So somebody's a messenger here. Somebody's very divine. Somebody's steps is like ordered by God, literally. I don't know why this just looked like a horn to me. So I'm hearing like when the trumpet sounds. Why is this page of wands here? Ah, somebody was being divinely guided, divinely led to you. Yeah, this person was being divinely led to you. Give me some energy on the Seven of Swords. Why is the Seven of Swords here for the Divine Feminine? The Ace of Wands. Somebody could have said that you were promiscuous. Some, or somebody could have said that they slept with you. Or knew someone that slept with you. Give me something else on the Seven of Swords. Yeah. The Tower in the Reverse. Scorpio Energy. Give me something on this Tower in the Reverse for the Divine Feminine. The Eight of Swords. Somebody could say that um, you also like to cause drama. Like if they were to deal with you, then they would be stuck with somebody who is very chaotic, all over the place, who's not stable. Yeah, somebody tried to make you look unstable. For some of you, um, somebody tried to make you look mentally unstable to this person. Give me an energy on the Page of Swords. Why is the Page of Swords here? For the Divine Feminine. The Queen of Wands again. Something deals with a copy. Somebody tried to copy you. They could have tried to like mimic you, your communication style, the way that you talk, the way that you dress. Give me another energy on this page of swords. But especially the way you talk. Like they tried to um, really pull off your lingo here, how you uh, pronounce words or like your mannerisms. Something deals with like your communication style here. Give me an inner, another energy on the Page of Swords. The Empress. Libra, Taurus, energy. Give me something on this Empress, please. Why is this Empress here? The Ten of Wands. So regardless of how much... This person tried to throw at you how many burdens they try to put on your back or how um, much they try to make things difficult for you, Divine Feminine. They weren't able to do it. They were unsuccessful. Give me one more on the Divine Feminine, on the Empress, <laughs> who is the Divine Feminine. Give me another message on this Empress, please. The Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, things always work out for you. That's what bothers this person. It doesn't matter how much someone does. It don't work. Everything always balances out in your life. You are blessed. We have Sagittarius, Leo, Taurus, Aquarius. Scorpio. Yeah, it's... <laughs> Things always, you are favored. That's what this is. You're favored. You are favored. You are favored by God. And that's what this person failed to realize or these people failed to realize. Your favor. They don't, they couldn't see the favor that was over your life. That's why whatever they did, it didn't work. 
Give me your energy on the hang one. Why is the hang one here? The ace of swords, the truth. <laughs> Give me another one on the hang one. Why is the hang one here? The Emperor look and the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, like this is your divine match here, your divine counterpart. Y'all supposed to work together, invest in each other in a relationship. Give me something on this Ace of Swords. Why is this Ace of Swords here? This person was supposed to give to you. I feel like this is you. And it's like, okay, you have your hands out. Like, okay, I'm waiting. But this person was so preoccupied with someone else. They chose to give to other people. Give me something on this Ace of Swords. Why is this Ace of Swords here? For the Divine Feminine. Give me something on this Ace of Swords. The Four of Wands. The truth is, this person missed out. on their fulfillment here. They missed out on a divine partnership. That's what this person is seeing or is gonna be forced to see, that they was tricked out of their happiness here. Give me an energy out of for the emperor. The devil. So somebody was low vibrational though, Capricorn energy, Aries, yeah. Somebody was very um, low vibrational and controlling. Somebody needed to do some healing, some shadow work. Someone also knew how to feed this person's demons whatever toxicities they were into. Yeah, Six of Swords and the Hang One, heavy on the Pisces here. Yeah, somebody just moved away from you and left a situation in limbo. Didn't take any action. So let's get some more clarifiers here and then we will close it out. Get some advice. Spirit, why is funnel here? Clarify funnel for me. The moon and the king of wands. Pisces, Cancerian energy. Why is the moon here? Lessons to be learned, yes. But somebody's now in this nine of swords, worried and anxious energy. Cause it's like this person is a know-it-all. Like this is somebody who like has to know everything before they take a leap. And that was the problem because they were supposed to come towards you. They missed out on a divine connection here. A romance of a lifetime because of what they didn't know because of what they couldn't see somebody just wanted to know everything they wanted to be in control so now this person is learning a lesson they're in the nine of swords stressed out worried frustrated give me some energy on bouquet why is bouquet here Why is Bouquet here for the Divine Feminine?
the hermit. Somebody's just silent. Compliments from an admirer. Yeah, somebody's kind of holding on to what they need to say. Somebody needs to speak, but they're not speaking. Somebody is just remaining silent. They're not doing anything. Taking no action. Give me some energy on scissors. Why is scissors here? Why is scissors here for the divine feminine? Disappointment in some affair. Yeah. Four of Wands, Nine of Cups, and the Queen of Pentacles. This person was getting their wishes granted here. This person was getting ultimate fulfillment. This person was going to be very happy. Was going to live a very good life with this Queen of Pentacles. For some of you, you were meant to marry this person. They were going to have it all. Like their wishes was being granted. But it's like with the scissors, this person cut you off too soon. And now they're disappointed in how they handled the situation. How they handled their affairs. They left it to other people. They didn't take charge. Give me a message on I. Why is I here for the Divine Feminine? The Four of Pentacles. One more for I, please. of pentacles okay so this person was just pretty much holding on to baggage this person didn't want to let something or someone go they just kept holding on to things that they needed to release because god was giving them a gift a blessing a brand new opportunity somebody also was very fearful to let go and therefore, by holding on to a particular person or situation or group of people, family, friends, they missed out on a blessing from the divine because they were not listening to their intuition. They did not trust. They didn't believe. At least not enough to let go because, you know, all it takes is faith the side of a mustard seed and that person didn't even have that so let's get one more final message spirit give me one more final message for the divine feminine one more message for the divine feminine what is this Connect with others, host a movie night, or have a slumber party. Surround yourself with loving energy. So yeah, Divine Feminine, just continue to live your life. Have fun. I heard Debbie Downer. Yeah, make sure that you're not around anybody who is like a energy leech, you know. Miserable people love company. So just make sure you're around people that is going to help you remain positive. There's no need to focus on the past. What happened is done, is over with. This was a lesson for this person. Give me one more. So just connect with others who support you, who's going to help you, you know, stay 
positive and happy. And then I have pause. Take a moment, close your eyes, relax your body, just breathe slowly, deeply. Yeah, pause. Yeah, somebody, he, this person needed to pause and think and reflect, but they didn't. And for some of you with this connect with others, host a movie night or, ha or have a slumber party, this person also just likes to have a good time. That's what this devil energy is. Like to have too much fun, spend too much time with friends, too much time connecting with others. So that's why like they didn't pause and you know really connect with their intuition because they were just going and going and didn't really make enough time for God. That's what this person needed to do. Sit down and have a conversation with God about their life, their choices. So divine feminine these are your messages i hope they resonate stay true to thyself and real with thyself grow with me as i grow with you stay blessed